one minute catch and shoot, right? One minute three point challenge. And then you're gonna hit X or, or square, which, whichever system you're on. And you're gonna go practice. And what this will do, this will allow you to just work on your catch and shoot shot. So you see what I'm saying? They're gonna pass you the ball and you can get to whatever spot and then you can just catch and shoot. Come on. We'll never lose. Good afternoon, out there in 2K land, man. Check this out, man. Y'all are currently going absolutely ham burglar on this video, man. 16,000 views, 800 likes, man. Let's try to see if we can get that thing going up to 1,000 likes and 20,000 views, man. Because y'all boys be doing y'all thug fizzle on this thing, man. And as such, y'all know we got to shout y'all out with the Noti Gang Wall of Fame, man. The, the way that we're able to do that is because y'all keep doing, the, doing what I'm asking. Got to get 200 likes within the first 1,500 views so that it can get into the algorithm and we can go to the moon. That is, a lot of y'all came through. Hey, man, they said they don't need the nerf steals. We were talking about Mike Wong and, you know, them nerfing steals and stuff like that. Go back, check that video out. If y'all like, hey, one person says, hey, man, I hope the game uh, gets, to, gets to the state where the majority of the community enjoys it. That's probably the best comment I've seen. And the top comment from last video, man, it just says, hey, ball handlers that actually are good have no problems getting their spot uh getting to the spots on the court the problem is that that people were 22 and 23 made and now they're getting exposed learn your shot and we're talking about that in one second that's the main topic of the video pass the ball and if you have a lock on you make the smart decision i promise you that if you do that 2k experience will increase tenfold and we're gonna talk about all that man what the now now i can't help y'all with the dribbling and stuff like that man but i can't help y'all with the shot part so without further ado yes sir what's going on everybody it's your boy jay the aka fresh from the barbershop bk of the people's Champ, coming to you live with another video man check this out man y'all i know y'all your jump shot is broke out and that's why you're here right we all know it and i'm gonna give y'all some tips tricks and all the stuff to make y'all be green and like a like a machine and i just don't like the way that they make you shoot from here man i hate it i hate that they make you shoot from the top and stuff man but listen look i'm gonna give y'all some quick tips and we just gonna money on the floor let's get straight to it so the first thing you gotta do and i'm gonna show y'all some secrets too so so it's gonna be like five tips but it's gonna be some secrets in here too that a lot of people don't know or aren't aware of on how you can improve this joint man first thing you gotta find your jump shot man if you don't find a jump shot that you like and feel comfortable with then shooting is never going to be anything more than a chore for you it's gonna feel bad it's never gonna really feel good you're never gonna really feel like you can you can do it and you won't be confident in your shot right so get a jump shot that you feel comfortable with man uh, and that's that's number one number two find your cue and when i'm saying find your cue we're talking about find the cue on the jump shot and then also finds your jump shot time i'm gonna show y'all that in one second i'm gonna show y'all what's the what's the other thing pay attention number two three pay attention to where you're catching the ball when you're catching the ball if you catch it up top it's gonna be a fast it's gonna be a fast release if you catch it down low and we're gonna do more and more and more and more on this in a second y'all y'all see where i'm going with it if you catch it down low it's gonna be a slower release you gotta learn the release times and all of that good stuff hey listen and last but not least, practice, 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 practice. But y'all think that this is a simple video. If you cut out of the video just now, you're going to miss out on the tips, man, on the secret sauce. Because these are, those are the things right there, right? Listen, those are the things that everybody knows. And that a lot of videos are going to tell you. And that's, those are the things. I mean, they are absolutely true. But these are the other things that you got to know. You need to go to controller settings. Find which one of these works for you the best. Is it push? Is it set point, jump, push, release? If you're having trouble and the and you and you just can't get it, I recommend go to I do set point because I created my jumper to work with set point right here at the head. If you are having issues, go to push and then go to release. Go to release first. Maybe work your way down to push because push, you can really just look at your hand. Push and release, you can really just look at your hands and you can really see like when he's getting ready to push it, that's when you're letting it go. And the other one is once once his hand starts moving forward. 
that's where you can let it go. So just look at the jump shot, see which set point you like the best, or see, see which uh, release you like the best, and go with that, man. That's number one on the secret sauce. And we got, we got a couple more secret sauces here for y'all. Number two, you see them purple joints over there, man? Those are your lethal zones, right? So the way that you gotta get lethal zones is, you come in, and when, when you get to a lethal zone, bro, you, you probably, the only time you're gonna miss, your, your catches are gonna be consistent, and the only time you're gonna miss is if like, like you're, you're in here with me, and I'll show y'all at, a, at, a, at, a, at another way. But the way you get to lethal zones is, you come in here with everything at a hot zone, or like these are already hot zones. My corners are already hot zones. Come in here, talk to Lethal Shooter, and if it's already hot, it'll turn into a lethal. NBA 2K Labs did an awesome video on how much more the lethal zones increase your green window. Listen, it's it's a lot and it's worth it. So even if you come in here and you don't, and it's not, not eligible to be turned to a lethal zone, the spots that you want to go to my career, do, do this right here. I'm telling y'all, y'all don't, don't have no pride if you're trying to get your lethals on. Go to my career and put this joint on rookie when you go to my career. Put it on rookie. Put it on rookie and just shoot, 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 shoot. Get your hot spots up. Then come in here and get your lethal zones, man. I'm telling you, lethal zones are definitely worth it. At first, it might feel like it's going to change your shot up just a tad, but listen. It's going to be absolutely worse. You're going to hit a whole lot more. Another thing that people don't understand that, that changes your stuff, your motion style definitely impacts your uh, impacts your, your shot or what have you. Right now, I'm using Kawhi Leonard motion style. And uh, more or less, when, he shoot, when Ka Kawhi shoots the ball, he's already going to be down low, stuff like that. So your motion style definitely impacts it. Another thing that impacts it that a lot of people don't know is this right here, your triple threats. Wait, what are the triple threats said? Somebody came through and they told me, bro, it looks like you're, you, you're dropping it down because your triple threat is too low. Your tri like in this in this game, everything is, is necessary. So look, you see all this, I had it on basic. My triple, threat, my triple threat was on basic. This is what it was or normal. You see how low these are right here? Everybody, now, pro is up a little. Hey, Kobe's right here. Kobe might be okay. You might want to use Kobe. That, that's okay. And then you see Steph Curry. They said, dog, he said, come, he came through. He said, man, use some of the triple threats that are a little bit, that are that hold it up at the chest and not the ones where it's down low. So I was on normal. You see how low that is on the triple threat? This actually will impact your catch and shoot. So it looks like Steph stands up almost all the way. Luca, he leans over. You don't want that. Joel Embiid is the one that I'm using, bro. He stands almost straight up, and it's almost no, it's almost no um, impact on it. Like, but these other ones, like I said, if they are, if they're leaning down, sometimes they're gonna lean down. So make sure you check your, uh, check your animation, check that style. Look, it could just be placebo effect. I don't know. But for me, I feel like once I change my uh, my triple threat style to to Joel and B from from just that normal one, I feel like I just, I, I I mean I I feel like like I said to me, it feels like I'm shooting way different, way better, and I'm not getting that drop down anymore. And then last but not least, let me make sure I go through my notes real quick because like I said, now Bear got some other tips for y'all, man. I'm gonna send y'all over there to his video because. He did an excellent video on it, on like, make sure you got some takeover. You know what I'm saying? You gotta make sure you got some takeover when you're taking shots. You have to make sure that that you're not, you know, just doing stuff. Like you're not, you're just, you're just not just going out here shooting naked or whatever, I guess is what I'm trying to say. When, you, when you're in a game and you're taking shots and you got no take, the game is about momentum this year more than any other year. And uh, like Anonymous 2K TV said, you have really two, you got two versions of the slump this year. You get a team slump when you when your whole team missed like five shots or something like that, and you can get a uh, you get your individual slump. So make sure that you're not in the slump. Make sure that you got some takeover. Like I said, Bear, he, he's, I'm gonna link his video down in the description. He does an excellent job of explaining that more than anything else. But practice, practice, practice. I know a lot of people, you wanna go into the Gatorade facility, you can't go into the Gatorade facility, you don't wanna get your own rebounds. You don't wanna do any of that. If you don't want to do that, I got you. This is a secret place to practice. Somebody told me, one of my uh, people told me about this. 
it's the uh what's which one is it i, I want to say it's the one minute catch and shoot so it's these right here one minute catch and shoot right it really don't matter it, it really don't matter what you work on in there don't don't worry about that because you're not gonna actually go through with it anyway you're gonna do one minute catch and shoot right one minute three point challenge and then you're gonna hit x or or square which, whichever system you're on and you're gonna go practice and what this will do this will allow you to just work on your catch and shoot shot so you see what i'm saying they're gonna pass you the ball and you can get to whatever spot and then you can just catch and shoot and like i said from here i can tell which ones i'm gonna get that's gonna be a fast shot right you can learn the catches that's gonna be a slow shot this will be a slow shot you see what i'm saying this will be a fast shot this will be a fast shot so you can just learn your jump shot in here and just learn like what these catches are going to look like how quick they're going to be and all of that and then like i said you just go just go to different spots and uh and you can just practice so if you have a weak spot this is my weakest spot over here this is my weakest spot so i have to come over here and practice it but like right here i can tell you know i'm getting used to it where i can see that's fast all of these are fast all of these are fast because he's catching it above his waist that's gonna be a little bit slow this is this is gonna be a, a normal shot so these this is where you need to go come in here and the best thing about it is when it's over with guess what you just hit x and you just go you start it all over again and you can just you just shoot the ball until your heart's content and you can just uh you know you're just doing catch and shoot over and over so you can learn your locations learn your release i don't even know if i can hit this shot right here i don't i don't know if it is hittable for me it is uh and then you can just learn you know what i'm saying and then like even when i'm going into triple threat right it's still up there with the joel Embiid or whatever like i said with that normal he's going down he was going down too far for me but i'm telling you these tips all together just use them all together and i promise you that that you will do much better as far as shooting it ain't no secret sauce ain't no real placebo none of that stuff man only thing that i can tell you is you gonna have to get in the gym and then you obviously quit whenever you want to you got to get in that gym and work and just do your thing man but these are a lot of things that a lot of people did not know about like i said we know you got to find a jump we know you got to find a cue we know you got to find all of that but your triple threat timing can impact your jump shot and and your lethal spots got to get those lethal spots and then um come in here and practice and you can practice like that like i said a lot of people say you can do the corner three but i didn't want to practice on just corner threes so that that timing this this drill right here much better for me but let me know what you guys think down in the comment section man you guys i'm jay easy you guys have been the greatest let's get the 15 i'm just get the 200 likes in the first 1500 and get this video going to the moon Alice. and i will holler at y'all next time till next time it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's champ Gosh, baby, gosh, baby.